Welcome back. Have you ever wanted to learn how to draw Game Boy style art? Well, we're going to. Let's get to it. I'm one of the pixel artists working on Dwerf, and I'll teach you how to do cool pixel art just like this, but in another in another episode. You can wishlist Dwerf on Steam now. Yay! Link is in the description below. There's a Game Boy Game Jam coming up, and a lot of my fans use a program called GB Studio to make Game Boy games. It's a free software and um, pretty cool. If you haven't noticed, I have a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channel for this. And there are some limitations with doing pixel art, and I'd like to go over those and show you how to still be creative with a very limited palette. Even if you're not doing Game Boy style art, a limited color palette teaches you a lot. You can still follow along, just change your palette colors to something else and see if you can create awesome art with a limited palette. Let's get started. So in GB Studio, the PNGs must only contain the following four colors. And this last color, this is the transparency color. That's why you can see it's behind all these other sprites. I'm just gonna start by creating a massive green background since um, all these sprites are gonna have that. So we really only have three colors to work with and we kind of have to assign each one a job. So the, the darkest one is going to be basically our outline. And then the, um, the green is going to be our base and the light green is going to be our highlight. So I think the coolest thing that I could do for you guys is sort of make a character creator where I have a bunch of heads, um, legs, etc. And you can sort of create your own characters. I'll have the file in the description below and I'll also export it as a PNG if you don't have a sprite. Let's start by deciding how large our head size is. A good way to decide how large your head size is, is by trying to draw a face. I'm going to go ahead and click the mirror tool. In a sprite, this mirrors everything um, drawn on one side to the other. Let's say this is the smallest face that you can possibly draw, then your head size can't really be any smaller than this, unless you were going for um, a style where you can't see the character's face, which is cool too. Let me show you an example of that. So in Cave Blazers, the character has a head, but no eyes and no mouth. And really, the game is zoomed out so far out that you don't, you don't need it. However, for our Game Boy game, I think it's important to show the face because um, you're most likely making an RPG and it gives the character a lot more personality. Okay, so I created three body types here. Personally, I would go with this last one for most games. The problem with GB Studio is that you literally have to have everything fit in 16 by 16. So for that case, I actually like to leave a little bit of room in case I got a character with a little afro or a girl with some nice locks. All right, so I made a bunch of clones of this little dude over here, and we're gonna make each one of these look a little bit different. Give this guy a name in the comment section below. So check out how limiting this is. We literally have only one other color to work with, <laughs> this, this light green. So I'm going to just first start by maybe putting a couple of highlights on there and seeing how that looks over here in this window. I don't really think um, we should try shading. The color should really represent something. So for example, this looks more like hair than shading in this case because we have such few colors. So I'm going to start by giving him a shirt. And then this next guy, we're going to try giving him pants. And then this next guy, we're going to try giving him shirts and pants. I think for it to look like he has pants, we're gonna have to make him black. Do little legs look better? I'll just leave it at those for now. I, I don't think I'd be able to even come up with any more shirt ideas. I think that's like almost every possible shirt and pants. So um, yeah, let's just stick with that. I don't really like this one. Maybe, 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 maybe something like that. All right, now let's draw different faces. So a neat little trick is if you want to give um, your character teeth, you can put two white dots in the middle, two on the side, and it kind of looks like a little like uh, a little kid with, uh, with big front teeth. Also, to make um, your character look more like a kid, you just make the eyes bigger, or make just to make the character look cuter. Um, so we can do something like uh, like that. It actually looks kind of creepy, more like something you would see on a on a skeleton, right? <clears throat> Maybe I'll do that for um, for this guy. If I want him to look like a skeleton, that's kind of a creepy looking face. 
um, let's try doing white with a black dot. That's much better. And um, another way you can do cute eyes, bigger eyes, but on a small face, is you just make them too tall. You make them twice as tall. Um, that style is okay. By putting them closer to the mouth, um, it increases the cuteness. Um, I'm teaching you about cuteness. This is so funny. This is so great. So if the eyes are high up and far away from the mouth, it's not as cute as if the eyes are lower and closer to the mouth. For example, putting eyes up here is nowhere near as cute. <laughs> that guy looks so dumb. It's nowhere near as cute as putting eyes down here near the bottom of the face and close to the mouth. I'm gonna leave. It, I'm gonna leave that like that. Actually, I gotta give this guy the the mouth teeth too. If you wanted to make it look like a human, you can do this little trick where you give them uh, where you give them ears just by making the edges stick out a little bit. Uh, I don't really like that look. Uh, yeah, usually in pixel art, I don't like to show the ears unless it's like um, a cat character or something like that. Okay, so we said we were gonna make this one try to look like a skeleton. So I'm committing to that. I'm gonna make the face um, white and um, give it the creepy eyes. And down here, I think we can do the sort of like skeleton teeth and it'll look much much better than if we tried to if we try to give him a mouth. Also, let's move the eyes a little bit lower. Since this is, uh, I'm going for kind of a top-down angle, so where I can, I'll move the face down. For this guy, I don't think it's a good idea because his mouth gets really close to his chin. So what you can do if you have um, black lines near black lines is I can, in this case, remove the inner outline and now it doesn't interrupt sort of um, there. So now it doesn't interrupt, it doesn't, there's no black lines touching his mouth and it's more obvious that, oh God, it looks so dumb. Undo, undo, undo. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, so back to the skeleton. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I, I think that's okay. That's pretty decent for for a skeleton, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. For him to look cute and funny, I think he should have the the little legs. I think the tiny legs make him look funnier. But now his arms look kind of big. So I think. We gotta give him little arms. So I do, I do like to use outline like here and here, and you totally could. But just, just look over here at how different it looks with those lines. He looks, um, he looks fatter and his legs look thicker. And now he has these weird corners on the bottom of his uh, shirt. It just looks like he's wearing a big shirt. And then like this, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but this um, dot right here makes his um, hands look a little bit bigger, and now it makes his hands look a little bit smaller. So I'm willing to sacrifice not having outline in order to give him the correct form. <laughs> emo guy look at his emo hair look there's a skull on his shirt <laughs> it's L he's into death note thumbs up if you got that reference screw this guy I'm gonna make it into a girl we need a cute girl up in here <laughs> it looks like someone's mom. I was trying to draw a skirt and this just looks like s some lady with huge hips. Um, let's totally lean into that. Okay, that's one of the characters' moms. 
let's make let's make this guy Jack. Just some huge arms. He doesn't do leg day. It looks like he has sideburns or something, right? Oh my god, it totally looks like he has these giant sideburns. I'm having trouble making him look muscular. He just looks like he has giant fists. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Now he's looking good. What's his name? Tony? This guy's Tony. It kind of looks like his belly's sticking out the bottom, right? But it, but I think it's kind of hysterical. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're both so good. All right, I think we should do some animals too, right? So I drew a bunch of characters, but what was the lesson, right? <laughs> the takeaway is that if you work with a limited color palette, it really makes you focus on characteristics that you need to accentuate with those colors. So here's an example of that. I only had one color to work with, so I had to choose characteristics that I really wanted to highlight, and I thought that was the ears, the snout, and the tail. The good thing about this process is that instead of just going in and coloring, you have a step where you think about, okay, what are the things that really need to be a different color in order for it to accentuate what character this is. A few amateur mistakes to avoid is don't have, um, don't have black lines touching black lines if they represent two things. For example, this line uh, uh, under the mouth represents uh, the edge of the head and this is the mouth. It's very confusing to know where one ends and the other starts without a break in between. The solution to this is to um, find a way to do the art so that um, black lines don't touch. So another one here, it's not really a mistake but I prefer not to put outlines on the bottom of things because I feel like this is a missed opportunity for you to um, use that pixel and it still looks just fine. Um, when, when you don't have that bottom black pixel. So for example, let's say I gave this guy um, some pants, right? Now it looks like his toes are sticking out. Isn't that cool? And then if I wanted to give him shoes, let me go to like brown. Um, bam, I can give him shoes or, or some, uh, some, uh, some purple Nikes. Uh, for the eyes and the mouth, you want to avoid them touching. One of the solutions for this is if you're doing uh, the art with color, you can just make this another color and now people won't think it's the same thing. All these sprites are gonna be free for you to download on my itch. It also includes a bunch of environmental sprites and I'm gonna keep adding to the sprite sheet. So what you should do is follow me on itch and um, you'll get notified whenever I update the sprite sheet. There's gonna be a link in the description below. I totally forgot to talk about the backgrounds. You know what, that'll just make the video too long. I have a GB Studio sprites episode and you can watch that one where I talk about how I did and how I used the background sprites. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thanks for all the support. Uh, get your friends to subscribe, maybe your grandma. See you next week. Deadline.